Hey there, and welcome back to Trainwreck, an educational monster train series where you watch me struggle at 200 pack shards. Yeah, not much really to report. Today was, honestly, a bit of a tough day. I had, I just got like, this is what happens when you get old. I got old, I'm in my 30s. This is what happens when you get old. I got a random hip pain, and I woke up and I just couldn't walk. So that's exciting, and it's been a struggle all day. I had to do all sorts of stuff to try to make it downstairs. Just, I don't even know what's going on. Why is that happening to me? Great question. Uh, but you know what we're going to do instead? We're going to play some Monster Train, and then I am going to go to sleep. We're continuing on with 200 pack shards, and... Yeah, we're on, I guess, a five-win streak if you count all the resets in some of the previous episodes, which I am. Our previous run had a very interesting Harvest 2 Reform 1 Rector with in was a Paraffin Enforcer with Draft going behind. It went absolutely mad with power. The run was a breeze. I think I actually genuinely underestimated my strength. A combination of things, just the stats, the raw stats and the ability to bring it back if it burned out. And it was... Uh, it was pretty ridiculous. We farmed a ton of gold with Shade Lamp and Memorial Fund, so that was kind of neat. And otherwise, we cruised. So it was an interesting run because I transitioned mid-combat from reforming my key units to just getting anything killed that I could and reforming literally anything. It's kind of neat. That was with Harvest Rector, so uh, always fun. Uh, today we're moving on to Wormkin. I don't know how I feel about this, right? Decayer is normally really strong, right? But the problem is, Decayer's big challenge is you have to keep it alive. And the waves are really scary, and the Divinity does a lot of damage. So, is it going to be really too hard to keep Decayer alive? Some lines will work, but some will struggle. So, we're going to try. Obviously, I might not even see Decayer and have to go something with Corruptor. We'll see. But yeah, that's all I think I have for you. Just... Ugh. Well, we'll get through this monster train run. Oh, God. Doesn't matter how much pain my leg is, and I'm sitting down for this one, so we're good. Uh, so, yeah, as always, do like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And, yeah, let's get started. Sweet. You know, it's weird. Being... I don't even feel old. Am I old? I'm really not. It's so bizarre that I'm dealing with just random stuff like that. My my SO constantly tells me it's because I'm in my 30s now and things just randomly fall apart. So that's always fun. But I guess I just assumed it would not actually happen. Just maybe that's what causes people to have midlife crises in their 40s, right? So, but anyway, enough about my eternal struggles. Today we are Default Wormkin Exile Melting. Always fun. Let's see, we're facing down Double Barrel Daedalus. This is... Spell Shield? Yeah, Spell Shield, Arcus, and Patient Seraph. We have Primitive Molts, so one strategy with Decayer and in general is just bring back the things that die, so that's cool. We have Echo Transfer, Molded, and Ambient Charge. That's seven reform cards in my starter, which is very cool. So, all right. Let's think about it. How do I get all my shards? I find that that's the first thing I immediately think about. Like, this run looks bad because I only have three temples, right? And they're all early. So, temple on two, four, and five. So, if I even want, how do I even get 200 shards? Let's look. So, 10, and then we have everything I have to take here. So, 25 at least. That's 35. 50, another 75, 100, 115, 125, 140. So, I have 140, which means I need to dupe something and then double infuse in order to even reach it wow the worst part is that all of these temples are early so the early combats are going to be horrifying i pretty much have to take everything this is kind of the no generation i think just kills you in 200 shards right it's how you can only get so strong i have to aggressively take so many shards here in order to even reach the right number yeah, that's wild. Okay, so I guess I didn't look at everything else. Let's look at it. We have a Wormkin Banner Forced, Steel Shops on 2, 3. Okay, a Removal Dupe with a Wormkin Banner on 4. Removal Dupe on 5. I mean, I could just dupe something that has a ton of shards in it. That is also a solution, right? 
It's true. So steel shop's on two, three, and then next one is on six. Hmm, okay. And then eight? Wow, three steel shops in the whole run. Or no, four, right? One, two, three, four. Four's not terrible. Five is the most you usually see, but... Uh, bad starter relic. I have Trader's Quill or Melting Spout. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Melting Sp These are both really bad. Melting Spout technically saves 25 gold if I end up going with Tombs. Man, Trader's Quill might be something just because I have Wormkin, right? Maybe. I guess I'll take Trader's Quill. I think it has a higher output eventually, especially since I'm Wormkin. But these are both bad. I don't have high confidence in this run. Yeah, we don't even see Decayer here, so really I have to do something else entirely, which is scary. Corruptor here is concerning. I mean, we definitely take Corruptor. Uh, Infector feels like the worst place. Okay, well, I'm concerned. Spikes. Well. I don't know. It's Corruptor, though, so I have to play into, like, top floor, and then... I'm concerned, but I need to be strong. I need to be able to use this Steel Shop, right? Yeah, I think I do need to take this. I'm concerned about this run. Out of the gate, right? We're going to play bottom floor. I'm going to Fracture and then Primitive Mold here. Okay, I need to Fracture for money. I need to buff bottom. Right, we kill the front dude here. I cannot play this train steward or it gets farmed. So I think that's just kind of what we're dealing with. I work on top floor here. Man, we came close to killing it. It'll be all right, I think. If we're going to eat it down here, right? tough so what we do is we play a train steward up top it dies killing this enemy and then I play another one which kills the other one and then we take the extra 10 downstairs it'll have to be fine yeah okay this is very bad we reform for sure. Chief is probably the best pick here. I need to kill the dude in the back. I will primitive mold here. And I'm going to let that man burn out upstairs. We primitive mold. Brain steward in front. Reap, reap. He hits me for a chunk. Three hits. It's tough because a lot of this damage is from the spikes that I really don't think I normally would take, but I feel very much like I need to be aggressive here. Like, Shelter is 100% the click, right? It's armor, it's consume for Trader's Quill, and it is purple. Ah, molten Encasement. I mean, I definitely click the Molten Encasement here every time, right? It's patient, so yeah, okay. Now I have the cash, so let's go to the Wormkin banner and capitalize on this, right? Quick 25 and 10. Egg. Egg is good, right? I can reform egg. Sure. Totally. I have to take everything here? Oh my god. I mean, you're right. I have to take everything here and even do like an... In oh, I don't think I have to do an infusion here. I can do the two later infusions, right? But I have to take 25 shards here and go to 35. 
I don't know, man. This is tough. We're going to do a plus 25 and look for a multi-strike here. I don't want to endless the egg. So we'll endless the molten encasement instead. Egg is not a great solution for this, honestly. Spell chain? I mean, what do you spell chain here? Shelter? I mean, I have to do something, right? It's not great, but it's something. I have to take these. This is a bad run for this, right? I'm going to burn ambient charge because this card is abysmal. Like, I have to go to 35 shards here, and I don't feel strong. Just genuinely do not feel powerful. I have to click this aggressive amulet? This is so strange. I just feel... Like, I can't click this. I die, right? I'm going to leak. There's no world of... I don't. So I cannot click this unit trial. Right? I mean, like, look at this bottom floor. This is a nightmare. Like, so it's molten encasement upstairs. We chief. We chrysalis. I then fracture the egg. And I can't get rid of ambient charge because... Thank you, video game. Very cool. I'm just dead, aren't I? By the way. What the hell am I supposed to do here? I mean, we just die. Right? I mean, it's actually just... You just, you die. Okay, alright, alright. What the hell? My god. This sucks, right? So don't play the Molten Encasement is the TLDR. We have to reap the man in the back and hope that I can somehow get this kill, right? I can't play the Molten Encasement. I have to reform. What do you What do you even do here? We play a middle? Like, what is the play? He takes two. He beats the hell out of me, right? I have to play here, but he's like just chilling. What? I mean, I'm just dead. I don't think there is a single draw thing that answers this in any universe. And then what do you do, right? What what do, what else do you do? I take six damage here. I mean, I'm not dead at least, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> I mean... All right, we're, we're extremo dead now. Right? Just... I gotta kill a man. But I lose to this guy. Because two Disciple Foot Soldiers are created. This is impossible. How do you get enough shards? I mean, okay, so let's say I didn't take the 21 on the previous one. I would have taken at least 15 because I didn't kill the boss. So I saved six life or something. I Like, what is the play? What did, what did I do wrong here? This is why I don't play at 200 shards on most of my runs, right? I mean, because what do you do here? I just throw Chief downstairs, and we just do as big of a hit as the game will let us. I, I can't play the Bog Chrysalis, right? This thing drains my echoes. Right? This is very bad. I'm just going to be honest with you. This is extremely bad. So we instead primitive mold upstairs, anticipating that I can't do it on bottom, and we just lose our dude downstairs, and I actually prefer that because he gets reformed. Okay, so now we do primitive mold. Chief lands. We put the train steward in, and I play the shelter, which kills both. Right? Okay, he burns out. Now, with any luck, one man down. I take 18? I'm not dead, right? <sighs> okay. That's true. All right, so verdict is we have to kill the man in back. I have to kill the boss here. And I pretty much have to high roll a reform. Okay, we have a reform. Jesus. 
I mean, one HP is the last HP you need, so okay. Wow. Um, yeah, this is going to be a run of Monster Train the video game. We're going to take Bounding Echoes here because I need as much purple as this game will let me have. Wormkin etchings in my common pack? Are you serious? What, what do you want from me? <laughs> what do you want from me, video game? We're going to take Bounding Echoes. I need everything to be purple. Yeah. Draft. I'm going to click Draft. Okay. I go to the Merchant of Steel. I need this 20 health. Okay. Merchant of Steel says multi-strike. Okay, we're going to put the multi-strike in the bog chrysalis. I'm then also going to put the draft in the bog chrysalis. We're going to play reform egg. That's pretty decent. I have to take the divine boons. We're going to go caverns here. Copy a card five times. Are you effing kidding me? It's not copy bog chrysalis five times. It might be copy shelter five times. It's actually pretty dope, right? I'll take it. It's too bad I don't have a minus one in it, but the truth is we take these. I didn't have a choice, right? I had to take a force unit draft on ring two. Am I going to live? Okay, I think I need to remove a train steward here to stay ahead of the curve. Maybe two? I go to the removal dupe? I mean, I have to dupe something, right? I need to go to the magic shop, yeah? I think I have to go to the magic shop, so I need to save my money. Okay. Alright, can we beat Daedalus? I don't know. I, I mean, my shards are normalized now because I took almost nothing there, only 10, but I have to now do double infusions back to back. So we're going to be at 100 by ring 5. Yo, bounding echoes. You're... Oh, it's nuts. Oh, it's sick. And then you shelter, and then we shelter. We do a big chunk, but then we also get four hatch... Four shell there. Okay, that's good. We fracture. I primitive mold... It hatches. Now. This is perfect, but I need space now so I can put the molten encasement in front. Yes. And then we shelter upstairs, I believe. Yeah, that's good. And what? I don't play the molten encasement yet. True. I could put this draft in and do 20 here. I should. Yeah. Cool. This is a nonsense run. Top floor is looking bad. Yep, we knew that was coming. I can pop one, which I like very much. Cool. I then need to reform here, I believe. Double reform to get them both back. Bog Chrysalis comes in, does a punchy. Draft also punches, which is fine. Take 30 here, which is unfortunate, but it's going to have to be okay. Okay. Primitive Mold. God, this ambient charge is bad, isn't it? I have to play it, though, I think. And then we fracture things in the back, I'm pretty sure. I think it's actually shelter for one of these. Pops that. And then I can pop the back unit with a fracture. Yeah. Right, and don't mess with this, I don't believe. I need these numbers to be high. Yeah. All right, we got rid of the stupid thing ambient charge we're going to primitive mold primitive mold here I play bog chrysalis draft 
put some damage in, try our best. I'm going to put in the Echo Transfer here. Good. Okay, I mean, we win this combat off the back of five of those shelters being really strong, apparently. Oh, I just play big shelter here. It's good. And then I reap the man. All right, cool. I think we're fine, right? Yeah, we're, we're fine. We're good. Cool. Okay, we made it through this combat. Great. We're not dead yet. Remnant Pact. Yeah, I put this on Chief so I don't have to reform him because he starts at zero. Yeah, cool. And it's purple. Great. Good job. What have you put in the Paraffin Enforcer? Huh. So what if instead of egg, we do paraffin enforcer with a draft infusion, right? I mean, I have to do this, right? I need to take stuff so I can get good infusion value, I think. How odd. I don't have any burnout extenders. So really, you just hatch egg and then... Pray, <laughs> I suppose. Huh. Well, I could take the first of kin instead. I do have a whole bunch of etching right now. Go for plus fives and just have insane armor value. It's an option. Well, no, because I take space and then... Right, right, I take space... So we put the first of kin in the egg. We take space. We play the molten encasement in front of it. Yeah, okay. That's my line. And then we just reform the eggs for other floors, right? Yeah, okay, fine. Good. Great. I go to the magic shop because I don't. I need ember badly. Yes. Right. Pyre remains getting back up there in numbers. Ember stone. This has to go in shelter because... It's too important. I have to take everything from this temple. And when I say everything, I mean genuinely everything. Minus two is going to go into shelter because it's just the way of the world. It's also really good for a later dupe, right? Because it's a 20 shard dupe, which I think is strong. Yeah, true. I mean, this is... Oh, I can't take the 10 in piercing. I need something with... Oh no, that's going to bite me, isn't it? Yep. That's going to bite me. Okay, I can't take that 10. Awesome. Awesome news. I'm going to have to re-roll for the minus one holdover, huh? Well, maybe. Minus one always goes into a shelter, I believe. Well... <laughs> Pivot to Decayer. No, it's Corruptor 2. And then we just have Egg Egg, right? Or, you know, Egg Friend. I could hold over a Primitive Mold, which is not terrible, actually. It's purple and decent. Guarantees I have a holdover on a certain turn. Yeah, okay. I'm going to hold over a Primitive Mold. They showed it to me, so we're going to take it. This this run sucks. I'm, I'm not ha I'm not enjoying this because this feels like a run that would be very easy for me to win at 100 shards. I have such good lines available to me, but because I've had to be so aggro, I'm just way far behind. Right? I had to skip a unit draft that put me behind, and these I'm at 85 shards on ring four. What do you want from me? I can't take this plus six. Everything's upgraded. There's no universe I live if I click this. Right? Just none whatsoever. Yeah, what do you do against this dude? What do you even think of doing? So we play Chief up top. Egg. I put the Remnant Pact on the Chief. I mean, I guess I'm going to play the Shelter, right? I need to hatch this thing. True. It's time for Bounding Echoes. That's actually a really bad bounding echoes, isn't it? True. It's a very terrible bounding echoes, in fact. So we click, you reap the egg, and then we shelter. Ah, this is gonna suck, huh? 
Yeah, it's bad because I lose all that and I don't hatch them. <sighs> okay. I need to not leak this guy, right? Well, we get the molten encasement at least. I play the shelter here. And then I play the other shelter here. And I have to put in the draft now. I mean, it takes the Quill Marksman at least, right? It's true. And now it's encasement and we charge this floor. Right? Like this, this is what you're looking for, yeah? True. And we just armor up, I believe. Yeah, I mean, this looks strong. Well, strong is a matter of perspective, I suppose. I guess I'll play the egg repeatedly and reform it. I don't know if I would call it strong. It is mm, sufficient. Play the shelter here for sure. Put down first of kin friend downstairs. We reap out one of the back dudes. I mean, I think we get through this just off of the back of what we're doing here. Which is reasonably strong. You reform, reform a whole bunch, whatever. We take 100 damage, sure, no problem. That's alright, yeah. I mean, I can't think we lose here, for sure. It's weird because with this much stealth, I reasonably think I can actually hatch this stupid egg, but we just you just play the in the tomb and we crush. So, all right. Well, 85 shards, I guess it's fine if we draw well. Return soul is clutch. Yeah, 100% we click return soul here. It's purple and it consumes stuff. It's great. Wicked Blaze is redundant. Right? I don't need more cards. Yeah, 32. I have all the things I need. That doesn't add anything. I go to the removal dupe. I'm pretty confident. Yeah, I think I need to. As much as I'd love to go to this magic shop. Think about our shards here, right? It's temple for... Oh, no. I didn't take something that takes magic power. Dang it. I should have grabbed the... <sighs> I'm, so, I'm so preoccupied with the pathing and the challenges that I forget the stupid important things that I normally don't. So let's let's look. I have what 25 here. That's 110. Yeah. 125, 135, 16, 150 right now. So I need to dupe everything. I need to go to the right and dupe a 20 shard thing, right? Or else this just does not work. Minus two is pretty solid. Put that into another shelter, sure. Yeah, okay. Cool. Intrinsic. Cool, right? Yes, I put that in the bounding echoes because I'd like the purple on the egg, right? Yeah, true. I must take an infusion. So I'm just going to put a train steward in a draft here. I guess. Yeah, I have to do this, right? Yeah, okay. I mean, it's not pretty, but I think I have to. And then I have to dupe. And go to. I'm at 135, right? Yeah, 150, 160, 175. I need to dupe something that gives me shards here. Hey, what in the blazes do I do? I mean, a 10 is fine, right? 10 takes me, I mean, because I, I could go to the shelter, yeah? But the thing, the big shelter, but the sh big shelter is 20. 155 shards on ring five is disgusting. I remove the other two train stewards now. I've used them to the best of my ability. Right? Think about this. I need... So if I take a 20 here, 155, then that's 170, 180, 
180 plus 9, 15 is 9, 195. Then I have to dupe a 10. So I could take the 10 here. Or a 5. I could technically get away with the bounding echoes, but I think that doesn't end the value. Okay, so we're going to take a 10 shelter instead of a 20 shelter. I don't know. Is there even really a difference? I mean, you grab the one you can play, right? So I guess we take the big one. I don't know, man. Whatever. At this point, I'm so far ahead of... I don't even know what's happening. Crystal Cloak's going to have 5 million stealth. Whatever. To hell with it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what do you do? Can I get away with the money? I think I can. It's just Mark of Invasion. It's low impact no matter how you cut it. We play top floor anyway, so sure. Oh, yeah, buddy. Everything's upgraded, dude. Look. Everything is upgraded, friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Slam that shelter, kiddos. Let's hatch on this turn, bud. Oh, it's beautiful. So good. Give me that purple. Cannot kill the thing in the back. I mean, I guess we charge top floor, right? I need to. So, sure. I'll reform. We'll just play egg. Sure. Why not? Yeah, he's going to get crunched, but it's fine. It's okay. I guess I could have killed that thing, but I really... Mm, yeah, fair. Just send it. I mean, we take armor now, pretty much. Oh my god, this... <laughs> this is terrifying. I do need to etch, though, yeah? So we always take the etches on these turns, for sure. I can play the Echo Transfer and get away with it. Yes. Cool. I mean, all right. Yeah. Molten Encasement. We return Soul and Echo Transfer. We will play it. I will charge the floor. I guess I'll kill stuff on other floors if it lets me. Sure. I mean, everything is upgraded, right? Literally everything has been upgraded here. Yeah. It's true. I play the Remnant Pact here. I just, honestly, you just go for every etch they let you have, right? Because they get permanent value from that. Am I actually way stronger than I give myself credit for here? Like, am I just nuts? Maybe. It's really strange, but I suppose that's true. And then what? We just reform stuff here. We play this thing down and take as much as we can. Yeah, I, I mean... I'm cracked, is what it turns out. I actually am so much stronger than I gave myself credit for. This just looks really scary, right? It's 155 on ring 5. But this line is powerful, I suppose. I suppose. I could take this force contamination. It's maybe good. Well, ah, maybe. It uses my echoes, which is kind of a concern. I'm going to skip that. I don't think so. Resin removal is huge. We just grab this card. Yeah, you just take resin removal when you see it, even if I already am past the point of Crystal Cloak. I will hunt magic shops. Minus ones are good. Another holdover is odd. I mean, right? We just make shelters. One, zero cost every time. Holdover and what? Holdover return soul is actually nuts. Yeah, true. We grab the horde. Bog slime is killer. Sure. I'm going to remove... Huh. The draft that I just upgraded because it's absolutely pointless. Yeah, and then I'm going to cut a echo transfer. Okay. And we roll it. Permafrost? Huh. It's a good question. I'm going to minus one a shelter, of course. Every single one of these gets one of those. You could permafrost the bounding echoes, but I'm going to always play it on turn one, right? There's just no world I don't. I don't think so. Yeah. 
And now, because of the holdover in Return Soul, most of my cards are ammo for etches, so... We move on. Yeah. I think I'm actually really powerful now that I've gotten past everything else. It's a rally shard. Okay, so we... Bounding Echoes for sure. We're going to get the Chrysalis screwed as much as possible. Yeah. Hatch on turn one. Yeah, cool. And then you just Primitive Mold and... Yeah, true. And we Shelter, Shelter. We just play everything. Yeah, cool. Actually. Seems good to me, right? Yeah, now you get the Molten Encasement and we just do the same thing again. Right? It's just fine. True? Yeah, seems okay. So there will be one more Rally Shard up top that concerns me, but it's not yet. True. Yeah, so we'll just have to avoid the stealth on that one turn, which I think is the last turn, right? True. Molten encasement, we play the shelters, great job. What is this, a rally shard? I'm gonna reap the boss, I think, yeah. I mean, I think we're actually really powerful right now, is what it comes down to. I think we're actually doing great. So now it's... Primitive Mold, we shelter, we shelter, I just send everything, and then I return soul, literally anything. We burn it, we're fine. I mean, yeah, it's it's fine, yeah. Okay, here's the Rally Shark, we just play it off floor somewhere, no biggie. You shelter, you Primitive Mold, you return soul, we blast actually anything that the game lets me blast. Egg can come downstairs, sure, why not? Yeah, not a big deal, honestly. We now do Molten Encasement. Play the Etch. Primitive Mold. Return Soul. Burn the Molded. Yep. Take the Resin Removal on our man downstairs now that I've drawn it. Good. Cool, cool, cool. I think we're actually fine. Right? I actually think we're super chilling here. We just crunch this floor, primitive mold. I come middle, which hatches this dude, I believe. And then we burn, I don't know, fracture. That does 400 damage. It's pretty good. Yeah, I think this wins, right? Like, genuinely, I think this wins. We have stealth, we have everything. Yeah. Cool, whatever. Don't even bother, we're fine. Yeah, he just crunches. That's good, okay, so fair. All right, well, fine. Wormkin Spike, I mean, it's it's an etch, it's purple, we'll click it. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna draw here for sure. Okay, I go to the magic shop. We just make the last shelter cost zero. Yeah. Behold, 140 health. Another holdover, good lord. Don't even know at this point what is even left, right? I have no sense for anything. Take the money, we remove, honestly, nothing. You go Corruptor 3. My last one is the Horde, and then we just dupe again. I actually don't think I remove anything at this point. Weird. I don't think I hold over anything either, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Save my cash. Well, I mean, I'm actually skipping this because I think I genuinely need to have ammo for the return soul, right? To burn. Just bring back anything and kill it pretty much. Yeah, actually. The only problem is drawing the Molten Encasement is potentially a concern, but 
I also have the Remnant Pact, which solves this, and any of my shelters will keep my man alive as well, so... I think it's okay. Yeah. Weird. I definitely think having more cards is better here. Spell Shield. I have no spell damage. Okay, well, fair. If I lose, it's not because of that. Every single unit is upgraded on this combat, by the way. Just as an FYI. Every single creature is upgraded. Cool, I will play the shelter here, for sure. We'll save the other one, because I would like the armor to go on my dudes. Yeah, cool. And now it's just your primitive mold. We play this thing on another floor. It doesn't really matter. We charge top floor. We etch. Yeah. Yeah, true. All right. I mean, this seems okay to me. Take the purple. We take the etch value. I primitive mold. We'll play some stuff on another floor. No problem. Not a lot of complexity here because my run is very straightforward, but yeah, fair. Yeah, we just shelter, shelter. We echo transfer. I primitive mold back the echo transfer. We burn that and I play the resin removal here. I guess we'll charge middle actually, take out the spikes. Yeah. Oh my God, look at this bottom floor. Oh buddy. Yikes. True, I can actually hatch this thing middle technically if it doesn't die. Except, you know, it dies, obviously. We just etch like crazy. That's a lot of armor. 26 armor to the floor, huh? That's true, it's pretty good. Okay, you reform. We play egg middle. Does he live? Yo, he lives. He's insane. We just play everything, right? And then you return soul and we burn a uh, molded, I guess. And we load up middle as best we can. I mean, I think we're actually super strong, right? Which is kind of wild to me how powerful we actually are. You shelter up top for sure. I. I can put the egg in middle, right? And then I can return soul here. And we burn everything here. And we hatch again. And I can now wormkin spike up top for more etching on the floor that actually matters. And now we've like created a pseudo floor that crunches, right? Like it's not incredible, but it's pretty good, right? Yeah, interesting. Pretty good. I'm gonna etch upstairs, it's fine. Yeah. Like, it's okay. Yeah, we get some chunks out of that, sure. We're gonna win on top anyway, yeah, like, we're super chilling. Cool. Let's go. Yeah, that's a strong floor. Hits enough times. I actually think we're really fine. We grab Wormkin etchings because it is nuts now that we have this line. I should just grab another resin removal, just ammo to burn, pretty much. Okay, we have to go to the dupe, just period. Horde says, Hardened Hull? Yeah, okay, Carving is not it. I'm burning out these Echo Transfers, don't really care. So it will be Hardened Hull. Removals are question mark. Hell's Banners? I mean, that's Ember, I guess. Done Echo. Wow. We're just going to dupe the thing that's 20. We're at 215 shards. This is the fourth holdover. Video game, what are you doing? I need to make Wormkin etchings cheaper, I believe. What is happening? I'm going to make Wormkin etchings. What? Zero, I guess? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Let's check the temp the trinket shop. I don't really want these. Yeah. Okay. In case ember is an incredible amount of ember that I can't even spend. I mean I'm gonna pick the echo seedling for sure. 
in case number? I mean, I guess, right? What else am I doing with my money, right? I'll buy a removal into, well, question mark? I don't even want to take these removals as is. I'll buy the permafrost, right? Yeah, sure, permafrost, okay. So, what? What do you permafrost here? Well, it might be the resin removal, unironically, to have this on an important turn, maybe? So what else do I need to permafrost? It's never the bounding echoes. It always goes on my egg, right? It doesn't matter about anything else. If you connect bounding echoes with the, the what's it called, the tomb, that's a high roll, but I don't need it. So yeah, I'll do it on the resin removal. And then I do get a removal here, but I don't think I want any of these. So we're just going to walk in at 90 with 33 cards, and it's fine. Should I actually be removing stuff? I don't know, man. Should I maybe? I mean, I think I'm okay thanks to the ridiculous number of shelters. I think we're fine, right? Density of my stealth is a question mark. It is patient, but I'm also kind of... I can just reform everything, yeah? Yeah, I have, it's patient. I have so much time. We do this bounding echoes upstairs to kill the unit. And then we get all these bounding echoes back. Oh, sick. I could have permafrosted those and had extras, right? That's kind of cool. We'll play bottom floor, though. We're going to bounding echoes this. I'm going to leave one. I will just play the return soul here. I mean, you may as well burn a card, right? And then we fracture... That's true. It's a lot of incoming damage, right? Yeah, it's a ton of incoming damage, but I actually think it's fine because I can shelter through basically everything. This man is going to trample how much damage again? Psych. Resin removal. Haha. -ha. Alright, now it's primitive mold. And then we face tank with an egg. Right, we, we shelter first, I believe. Yes, I believe this is true. You shelter, shelter, play the egg, egg now hatches, question mark? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, how much damage is that? Excuse me? These numbers do how much? That's how much damage to patient? And now, hold on, right? Ho hold on. How much damage was that to patient? That was a what number? That is a disgusting amount of power, huh? You wormkin etchings here. We pull everything back. I return soul literally anything. We save the primitive mold for next turn. We face tank with this egg, which hatches. And then we take a big swing. I mean, isn't this just nuts? Right? This is insane. How powerful this actually is. You bring back the permafrost. We crank that. And then we... Huge shelter value here. And I think it kills... Yeah, okay. In fact, it does. Well, fair enough. You know, was I scared of patient? I guess I shouldn't have been, yeah? <laughs> right? Like, no chance. Huh. This is interesting. I think... I think I grossly underestimate how strong some lines can get, which is a very interesting run, because this run looked terrible at first, and I very nearly died and had to re-roll ring two, but we got through it, and, like, that's okay. We, we did it, right? It's cool. Good job. Go team. You return all that back. We just etch the hell out of this, pretty much. Yeah, do 600 here. The Bog Slime hit's kind of nutty, too, by the way. 
yeah, so this is a million damage, basically. But what you actually are cool with is we just play the Fracture, we return Soul, we burn this, we get a ton of value there. I do want to play the Shelter for one Ember, but pretty much only the cards that give me Echoes are worth it here, right? That's 1,600 damage. And I'm not even really configured for winning right now, yeah? Yeah, so I mean, you play the Bog Chrysalis in front. He face tanks for the wave. We then play the Consumes now. You Worm can Etchings. I will take an additional Mold here, I believe. Yeah, I will play the Wormkin Spike, and then I return Soul a Molded here, and we do it again, and we crunch in a massive way here. Yeah, so I don't even have my stealth at this point. Right? Like, I don't, I do not have my stealth. B wrong order, by the way. I should have played the etch into this dude. For sure. Yeah. 100%. I should have done that. You then shelter. We then return soul and bring back anything. Yeah. I mean, we crunch this. My man's got almost no HP at this point. Yeah, this is a resin removal for sure. Right? Yeah. Resin removal. You reform. Play it middle. We just play a million anythings. You return soul anything. We send it and we send it. Oh, we won. Okay, well, I'm actually insane is what this means. What the heck? So really, it was all about the X5 on that shelter and then realizing and leaning into it with all the things. I mean, because we were genuinely overpowered for most of this run, right? Genuinely overpowered after Ring 2. Ring 2 was a nightmare, but we get there, right? We take these. That was how many minutes? 52 minutes and 30 seconds? Wow, I'm actually stunned. I'm gonna go to the run summary here. I am genuinely stunned by the direction this run took. This is crazy because the same line is very easy to win with in the base game, but it's just really interesting to me to see how it performed at such high shards. The early game was really concerning. So... Let me think about this for a moment. I think you need to be more aggressive in skipping money trials here. It The money didn't end up mattering, right? The 75 from this, I didn't even spend it at the end. So I should have recognized that the spikes trial was not required. At the beginning of this run, I was looking at it and I think I need, I said, thought to myself, I need to be snowballing. I need to get really strong here. So how do I achieve that? It's okay, I take the trials aggressively. That was that's not a trial I take normally in the base game. So that cost me a lot. It actually only cost me what was it? 3 I believe. It was a single hit of that front dude. So I guess the trial was only 3 life. But considering we walked out of ring 2 with 1 HP, that 3 life might have mattered. But then after that state, we took no damage for the entire rest of the run because I saw the X5 on the shelter with the spell chain which was ridiculous. And then eventually we saw a bog slime plus hardened hull. So chief just kind of went completely ballistic and you eventually reform the egg enough times that it never dies. And then you're also playing the shelters. That's weird. It's weird because I don't think I actually put the spell chain in the shelter normally on ring two, right? I don't think I do that. So what does that tell you, right? What, what does that tell you about the run? What did I do so different? I put an X5, I put a spell chain in a random shelter 
not because I was expecting an X5, but because I needed to take something and it was the best thing I could do. And the stealth was useful on some combats, but ultimately fell off a cliff once I got strong enough. Very interesting. Return Soul did tons of work here too once I got that. So, interesting. I think... Huh. Well... Yeah, fair enough. I mean, in the base game, I would have just x 5 the shelter anyway, right? Even with no upgrades, then put minus ones in that, and I don't even care, right? And it's still excellent, because it's not like the second copy purges, but it does get me a lot more chart, a lot more echoes very quickly. So I was creating ridiculous turns that bodied Seraph or the Divinity. So obviously, even if you don't put the spell chain in this thing and you just x 5 it normally, it still wins, right? We still win this run off the same principle, pretty much. So, okay. And there was a double stack along the way, so I would have instead just done double stack in this and then minus two in it and then duped that a bunch and it would have been fine. I mean, I think the run looks very similar. In fact, double stack is arguably... Eh, it's not arguably superior. It is arguably less good, right? Because you get one more echo with the spell chain, but the spell chain costs more before you get them upgraded. So you basically exchange late game echo generation for early game ember struggles right where i was never playing the second copy basically so kind of interesting and then the obviously the big thing big takeaway here is i just didn't care about the size of my deck i just needed ammo for return soul so it's all about ammo echo basically echo ammo yeah echo ammo egg echo ammo what a weird run i don't know very strange. So, okay. I mean, hey, I guess it's a six win streak because we're accepting the fact that I had to re-roll ring two. But this is a run that I feel is extremely confident in the base game. And I suppose should be really confident in 200 shards as well. But navigating the early game is very scary. So that's really interesting. I think I learned a fair bit here, but... Because the no generation was so bad, but yeah. Okay, that's an interesting one. Good episode, I think. I mean, it, it, you're the one. You tell me if you think it was a good episode. But good episode for me because I feel like I actually walked away with some value out of it too. It's not just a crazy high roll, but it's also not just get slaughtered. There was actually a navigable line. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, we'll call it there. That brings us up to six on the series. So yeah. As always, hey, thanks a lot for watching this. I really appreciate your time. Uh, you can give the video a like or a dislike if you want. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and stay tuned for what's next. Take care, folks. Wow, that's under an hour. Dang. Yeah, take care, folks.